Hi, welcome to a major spotlight video presented by the UCSB Office of Admissions. My name is Krithika and I'm a second year student here at UCSB. Today I'll be talking about the computer engineering major. I've always wanted to work in healthcare technology. I've always found myself drawn more towards the design and development of tools, like how they interact with the world, and especially how you can visualize data and signals into an understandable format, which UCSB's program allows me to explore and also specialize in through electives. For the computer engineering major, preparation courses consist of math, chemistry, physics, and some EC and computer science courses. They really do cover a large range of topics, but to make sure you're really prepared as you go into upper division and specialization classes. Like I said, I would like to work in health tech, and so after graduating, I'd like to go into uh, graduate school for biomedical engineering, but I'm also considering UCSB's 4 plus 1 program, which allows students to stay an extra year and graduate with their master's degree and allows students to pursue that path a lot faster and I think it's a great opportunity. Students are exposed to research early on, especially through our EC 1A class offered winter quarter of your freshman year, and it'll expose you to a lot of faculty talking about the research they do and the special topics that they're studying, and it's a great way for you to figure out where you'd like to contribute on campus. I personally think one of the best parts of UCSB's EC department is just the sheer size. We only have 1,500 students, and with the amount of faculty, that gives you a student-faculty ratio of about 10 to 1. So classes are very, very personal. Your first few classes might be bigger with about 100 students, but as you go through the program, they get extremely small and they get extremely personal, and it's a great way for you to be able to engage with your peers, be able to engage with the people who are teaching you. You know, even with distance learning, I've found that they're very accommodating, very supportive, really just want the best for their students. I personally try to balance my classes. I opted to do that through a minor in architecture and urban history. While it's not necessarily related to my major, I do find that it helps me look for solutions in everyday life and be able to present them as an idea for the world to understand. In addition, since I'm interested in going into healthcare technology, I'm opting to take some biology courses down the road that will basically help me going forward with graduate school. I actually haven't taken any upper division classes in my major yet, but as I've progressed through the department, they really aren't that big. There are about 20 to 30 students in most of your specialization classes. You may see some of the more interdisciplinary or some of the more multi-major courses having around 100 students, but really overall very small, very personal. Yes, computer engineering is unique in the sense that you have to be versatile and know about both electronics and computer theory. A lot of organizations on campus allow you to expose yourself to these things. IEEE is a great example. And since our field is so interdisciplinary, organizations like Engineers Without Borders and Robotics are great ways for you to expose yourself to applications of what you're learning in the classroom. That computer engineering is the same thing as computer science when you think about all the different definitions and it's such a loosely defined concept sometimes it becomes hard to differentiate between what does it really mean the way i always like to explain it is think of computer engineers as the people between the computer scientists and the electrical engineers who are then interfacing able to communicate with both when you're looking for a program make sure you look into what they specifically teach because it does vary from school to school but it also gives you a great way to really engage with the curriculum and really pick something that you're interested in and you're going to find a lot to learn about and be excited about. I really love the sheer community of it all, even though my major is so technical and it can get really, really bogged down fast, I find that the community is just great and my peers and my faculty are always behind me and supporting me, which matters a lot to me. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any questions, always feel free to look at the department website or reach out to any of the advisors. They're super helpful and they're always there to answer your questions. Subscribe for more videos and thanks for watching.